Hello all, welcome back to the AeroDump NG Scan Visualizer video series at Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we're going to look at column filters in the analyzer. So let's go back here and let's use the same CSV we did for the last one. There we go, let's hit analyze. Now, as you can imagine, when you have a ton of data like this, it's probably required that one would need to filter it in some way, right? So as an example, if you were interested only in looking at the Bloom U uh, SSID, we would have to apply appropriate filters. Now in the scan visualizer, every column has this little filter icon in there. If you notice, which gets illuminated when you hover your mouse above it and you can click on that. And this gives you the ability to apply filters. Now there are different kinds of filters, which you can apply for most columns, which contain string data, you have starts with contains or is. Now, if I do a starts with and do a bloom you, you would actually notice all of these networks right now, which are there, basically start with bloom you. Now you would also notice right now that here a filter expression automatically says ESSID label starts with bloom you, right? So you can go back in there. Uh, you could remove that filter as well. Now, what you also notice right now is the total number of entries here is 250. The moment you go back in here and apply a bloom, you starts with filter, it becomes 230, right? So you see how the number of results are decreasing. Now, similarly, you could actually do a contains, right? Pretty much remains the same or you could do an is, which is an exact match. Now this would only give you bloom you as expected. And the number of results is 62. This is the AP table. Now you can actually apply multiple such filters with an or operation in them. So let's say apart from bloom you, I'm interested in looking at net gear. So I could hit a plus basically say starts with net gear up oh. right and I can just change this to an is as well and then we could just quickly look at the results and you can see a net gear fantastic similarly you can actually apply as many of these as you desire so let's say we do the contains thing and say secure. And if you notice the filter expression beautifully shows you what's happening up there. And now of course you would have the bloom you hyphen secure ones added as well. Right now the best part is that you can go on for as long as you want. Uh, but not just that you can combine filters across columns. So now I can actually go in here and say, well, the BSSID needs to start with 10 HCCF. So I can actually go in there and say 10 HCCF, right? And now you would actually have that in here. Similarly, you can actually go ahead and apply something on the channel. So you can say all I need is from channel 11. Right, you notice the filter expression here also changes. You can click again on privacy and then say is, well, we are only interested in open. Looks like that isn't the case. At the very least, we have WPA2 in here. So I'm going to say WPA2 is what I want. Right, is WPA2. There we go. 
CCMP, that's the default cipher. This doesn't look like we can apply any more filters in here, but you could if there were other variations available. Packets. Now, packets and signal and clients are very interesting because they are going to have an inequality filter. So I'd say the minimum number of packets I'd like to see is one. This just ensures that the network is in my proximity, right? And I am actually seeing something from that network. Signal, this is important. Something very far away isn't of much use. So let's say the minimum signal I'd like to see is minus 40, right? I'll just make it a little bit easier. Uh, let's say minus 50, right? And then we'd say the number of clients needs to be at least one. There you go. After all of this, there is basically one access point which matches that criteria. You can double click that, look at the client as well. And of course, in the client tables, you can apply appropriate filters in a similar way. Right? So let's go ahead and reset all the filters. You can just click on the delete icon to do that. And all the filters would be reset. Now, a lot of times you might be interested in looking at client AP combinations by probed SSIDs, right? So there are two cases. One is the roaming clients case. Again, you can apply similar filters. I leave that as a uh, exercise to you. So in the roaming client case, you can clearly see uh, as an example, let's pick up something in here. Let's say mothership, right? You can apply a filter and say, hey, I'd like everything which basically is mothership. And you see just one client in there, right? Alternately, you could actually go in here and apply similar filters using this icon here called probed SSIDs. So now you can go in here and then say, well, anything which contains to bloom you hyphen open as a probed SSID is something I'd be interested in, right? So what basically this says is these access points seem to have clients or at least a client, a minimum of one client uh, which is sending out requests or probe requests for Bloom U Open. Now, let me click on this one. See a bunch of them in there. You have to apply the filter once again. And then just say Bloom U Open. And there you go. Here is that Mac which sent out a probe. Right? So this is how you can even play with probed SSIDs from the AP table. Fantastic. Now you may actually see hidden networks mentioned as three hyphens, hidden SSID network hyphen, 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 right? Uh, Initially, we had this as blank, but we found that a lot of early testers were getting confused. And that's why this is the nomenclature I finally decided. Now, as far as the signals are concerned, the ones which say unknown are minus one. Uh, I spoke with Mr. X, who's the author of Aircrack NG, and he actually said any signal strength of minus one basically means that they still haven't determined the signal strength properly and hence I've kept it as unknown, right? So you can clearly see how much power you have uh, while going ahead and using these filters on these tables. These are available both for the AP table, the client table, and the roaming client table. Fantastic. So have fun with this, and I'll see you in the next video talking about more features. Thank you.